What's up, Basil Babes? It's your girl Joy back with another banger. Well, go ahead and lose your mind, boo. So, I am in the kitchen. Child, let me tell you what happened. They canceled school today, child, because it started to rain. And so they want to make sure people are safe, so they cancel classes. Come on, Bobby, stop dancing. Kitchen is a mess, but we've been trying to make collard greens. And yes, I get them from the bag. I just get them from the bag, so I'm trying to uh, get Bobby. So I got kale and I have collards. And then what I do, um, I go in and take the hard stems off of them. Let me tell you what happened. Bobby, what happened with the turkey legs? I caught myself making some turkey legs. Did I tell you about that already? And honey, they were too salty. Mad salty. So what did we do, Bobby? And they tasted good. Oh, have you tried the... No. no. So we took the turkey legs and we put water. So instead of using the smoked turkey wings, we decided to use the turkey legs for our meat and our stock for the greens. So that's where we are. We boiled them down, got our uh, juice just right, and that's all she wrote. But we were just too tired, so we just ended up putting the juice back in the fridge. <laughs> I was gonna leave it on the stove at night, so we put our stock away. And so since our stock, is, is, is the flavor good, Bobby? I'm about to try it. So how are you guys doing? I hope you're okay. It feels like I haven't vlogged at home in a minute. School child has been, whoo. It's okay, like, I don't know what it needs. You wanna try it? I will. I will, boo. Wow, you look real. Oh, you actually look kinda tall today. Uh, and I don't have a platform, boo. I don't have no platforms, okay? I mean, don't get it twisted. Uh, don't do that. You in my business? You in my business? <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> These things might pop off. Don't, don't do that. Don't play. Don't do that. I, I can embarrass you real quick up on this day. <laughs> oh, really? Shall we talk about this? No. I tried to ride on Bobby's back, but... Oh, Sis need to go back to school because she got all this energy because those kids ain't with her out of school, so she's trying to bring that on me. And she doing too I much. just wanted you to ride. Nah, she doing too I much. wanted a piggyback ride. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. I don't know. She was laid out on the floor. I don't yes. understand. You got to hold my time. legs on 10 right now, Mom. <laughs> you have no idea. You, you did get up once. You was doing <laughs> way too much. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, uh, you didn't want to give me no piggyback ride, Bobby? You ain't even give me no warning. Well, you were already on the floor. Uh, Why were you on the floor? Cause you got because punched. you punched me in the chest. <laughs> it was a love. No, chest. she straight punched me in the I chest. I did not, Bobby. She straight punched me in the chest. I didn't do that. Uh uh, don't do, don't front for the camera now. Don't do that. Don't front for the camera. I would not punch you in the chest, Bobby. Oh, Sydney! <laughs> Where's Sydney? Sydney! Ooh. Moody Judy. Who want her? What? Huh? I didn't say nothing. I. So, uh, who did you see the other day, Bobby? I know people want to update. <laughs> Driving a car. Oh, you're talking about Clinton. So Bobby, since Clinton has been gone, Bobby talks him here and there. So what's the latest, Bobby, with Clinton? They want to know how Clinton is doing. Clinton? Clinton is doing just fine. I'm, yeah, you got me all cut off. Sorry, boo. Clinton's doing good. He's doing he, well. Um, I need a lesson on that because I mix that up every time, mom. But yeah, Clinton's doing pretty well. I He lives with his friend. They live together. And they have a nice little cute little house. I went over there the other day to 
see it. And I'll probably have to go back. Actually, I'll probably go today. Matter of fact. So, yeah. I went to go see him. He's gonna, homeboy is in school. He starts next week, actually. Beginning of October. So, yeah, he's doing a thing in school, getting his basics done. He has a plan. Mm -hmm. So, I think it's going okay for him. Well, that is the update. He's doing well. He seems um, a little more motivated and he's doing, you know, he's doing things. And, um, you know, I'm happy for him that he's finding his way, his way, you know? So sometimes when you want to do things your way, it's, you just got to find your way your way. And that's what he's doing. So he's doing great. So you guys want to know, um, he's okay. Um, we don't really speak. But he's doing okay. He did send me a picture um, of his um, classes or something that he that he enrolled. Oh, he did. Mm-hmm. And that that's it, that he just enrolled. So that's good. But you know, as a parent, you make these choices and these decisions, and you hope that it's the best. And so seeing how well he's doing, he seems really, really happy and free. He's always been my free spirited child. But when you have such a free spirit, you want to do what you want to do, then it's, it's time for you to go blossom and blossom. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for him. But then on the other hand, then you also feel like, you know, you made all these sacrifices for all your children and then, you know, so I guess it's, it's bittersweet as a parent. You feel like, oh, okay, like, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense to you? Yeah. I feel like the struggle, I went through the struggle to make sure yeah. I could provide for all the kids, did the best I could, sacrifice, you know, things for me, for the kids. I get my shoes from Walmart. Bobby was teasing Ooh, me. Geez. Leave me alone. Ooh. Jesus, that was funny. They don't look bad, Bobby. They don't, but. Like I told y'all, I don't really be buying shoes. Yeah. Um, even my little Adidas, I get those from the, um, what do you call that place? The outlet. The outlet, and they're $40. So I bought me some little shoes from Walmart, okay? And <laughs> she laughed at them. Leave me yeah, alone. So more sacrifices that I've done for the kids and things that I feel like they don't, appreciate not all of them but you know they may not appreciate it maybe when they get older but you know you kind of feel like oh whatever i'm moving on with my life now i'm moving on up well you're sacrificing that you did for 18 years and nobody they didn't ask to be here but i made it work while they were you know i did the best i could and that's all a parent i think most parents hope for their children so hopefully um you know, it is what it is. But you know, as a parent, you feel a little certain way, but it's okay. But I'm just glad that he's doing well. He has, is finding his way. I just picked her up from school. Did you have tutorials, Bobby? Huh? You had tutorials? I have peer tutor. I mean, that's what I meant, yeah. So Bobby is a peer tutor. How did that go about, Bobby? My second job that's her second job y'all so how did so what happened with that one she wants to do online school i just might i'm gonna lie to you you're gonna quit the peer tutoring oh no i'll just stay all day tuesday thursday and huh? have pick me up because it's like i don't know like i don't mind being there but we just i don't know i'm still thinking about it you know Mm -hmm. But peer tutoring is, I ain't gonna lie y'all, I get paid to sit there and do nothing. I don't even know why they did it again this year. Literally nobody shows up. I probably had to, I had to tutor a couple people last year, mm -hmm. but not as many as I thought I was gonna have to. Well, just like I said, the resources are there. Yeah. Whether or not the kids use it, that's on them. 
So now, you know, we supposed to dumb down our curriculum to accommodate you because you don't want to put in an extra effort? No, because they're not going to dumb down the state the state test. They're not going to dumb down the stuff when they when you get to the next grade level. No. We want to keep pushing you and challenging you and um to be you know well-rounded okay. and able to tackle you know difficult passages and text but there's a way to do it and it comes with practice practice makes improvement improvement and we try to keep a poem in front of the kids and present a poem every week every week we give them a poem oh uh, every week yeah i mean they're small poems to analyze so they can get used to it could never that's like me and my english class but with an essay we get an essay like every week absolutely ridiculous i give these kids an essay Shoot, they, ooh. my essay that's due today it's an argument essay girl you on the phone with It was an argument essay, and there's a word limit. I hate word limits. It's so stupid. And it's 600 to 800 words. Guess how long my essay is? What? Like 1,100 words. Oh, you have to narrow it down? To 800. It's just like Twitter. You can use for so many characters. So you, you're going to extrapolate the most important information. I ain't, I ain't cutting it down. You're not I'm, cutting it. So will you be penalized for that? Um, and plus, no. some teachers probably have um, that type of uh, word count stuff because it's a lot to read when they have over 100 students. I have 180 students. Oh, no. That's a lot. That's why they put that, that word count. Not because they want to punish you. Just have finding the time to read. I can't tell if this is salty or not. <laughs> this... Turkey was so salty. Oh my god. So we boiled it in water, but I just might have made the broth too salty. But you know, with the greens, you know, yeah. hopefully I overcompensated a little bit. And you just added more salt? Why would you? Oh, Why would you do that, Bobby? But I took the sugar out. I'm putting the sugar out. A little pick to it too. <laughs> <laughs> and a little red pepper flakes go a long way. Yeah, she added red pepper flakes to but it. But I like mine pretty spicy, so. Yeah, you add that little hot sauce to some cornbread. Mm. Some cornbread. Matter of fact, I'm gonna make some cornbread right now because I know we have some in the garage. From Miss Connie. From Auntie Connie. Yeah. Miss Connie just sent us these V8s. Oh, baby. I gotta hide the V8. No, now. you didn't yeah. even get to try the peach mango one, Mom, though. No. The peach mango one was I, so good. No, I gotta you hide those. I gotta give you one. It's so. Oh, no. you gotta give me one. So, because they're in my room, because there was only there was only a couple of those, so I just grabbed them and put them. But you're welcome to come in my fridge and have you one. But I'm telling you, smash. I really don't know if they work though, you know, like the energy, but I feel like you give me a little boost. Maybe it's a mental boost. Maybe. Yeah. Like, you know, sometimes. Like a placebo? Yeah, like, you know, when you take a pill, um, like an Advil, do you, like, immediately feel better right after you take it? No. 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 Okay. It's gradual. <laughs> sure, I'm but it's just like a logical. I can't, like, you take the pill and then you're like, wow, I feel better, like, so much better, but, like, you actually don't, like, you're just thinking about it. Mm -hmm. Who has dishes? Sydney. All day. So all of a sudden, Sydney, Sydney is busy. She, she busy. Ooh! Man, this workout got my body. So now, how's the new coach you got? She's cool, but come on. Oh no, she be pushing us in the weight room. She wants us to get stronger. Than that. So she be working you out. Oh my god, my body hurts so bad. And we have it again tomorrow. Uh-huh. I don't know if I'm gonna go, but. So what has been the most challenging with school, Bobby? Um, my AP biology class. That's it. 
Just my AP bio class. And I told well, you better go to tutorials. I just got the email yesterday. She's not gonna take me out of it, so. You better use the resources available and hit that tutorial session. The only people that can tutor me is like, people who's in the class too. Well, you need to get a study group going. So Bobby is going to start applying at colleges, which oh, ones, I don't know. I do. I, I'm starting this week for sure, if not this weekend. Yeah. I have to, like, deadlines are coming fast. Uh, so I'm hoping to have them done by the end of the month for sure. So, so that means college applications and essays and SATs yes I just took my SAT last weekend and I actually think I take my next one next week I thought it was at the end of October but I think it's oh they the just sent something about SATs I think it's at the beginning I didn't know that you know I wanted to get her a prep course for it and stuff did you find one of those I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find one at such short notice because they're usually weekend classes. Uh uh uh. Uh uh. Wouldn't it be nice for you to carry your mother? Carry me on your back. Come on, let's do it, Bobby. Girl, you're strong. But my body. Don't play me. <laughs> don't do that. I don't know what you did that for. Fine, appreciate that. Why are you backing up for me, Bobby? Uh -uh. Come, let me ride on your back. She's out of here, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, give this video a thumbs up or not. I love you until next time. Later. Bye. I know you don't have your shoes on the carpet. I don't. Um, come, Bobby, real quick. Let's come. do a thumbnail. Come. Oh my God, Tiggy in the bathroom. Oh my God. Well, there's a bathroom right down here. Don't use mine. Eh. Where did where did where did all the meat go? That's what I was thinking. You done ate all the meat, Bobby? There's not that much in here. No, I didn't. But I noticed the same thing. Mm. That's good. Where's all the meat? I have no idea. You ate the meat. Oh, baby, I didn't. On oh, everything, I didn't. It was probably Cindy. Did I know there was something?